If you've ever had an earache, you know they can be very painful. Unfortunately, ear problems are very common among dogs too. In fact, ear infections are one of the most common reasons that people take their dogs to a veterinarian for something other than annual vaccinations and routine examinations. It is important for pet owners to be able to recognize the symptoms of an ear infection and to take fast action in treating the problem. A healthy canine ear should be pink and relatively clean. Signs of an ear problem include dirty ears, redness, heavy buildup of wax, scratching, swelling, head shaking, tilting the head from side to side, the rubbing of ears against surfaces such as the sofa or chair, pawing at the ears, a discharge, and or a bad odor in the ears. If your dog has any of the above symptoms, schedule an appointment with his or her veterinarian as soon as possible. The problem will not go away on its own and will continue to worsen if left untreated. There are two common forms of canine ear infections, infections that affect the outer part of the ear canal are known as otitis externa. This type of infection can spread to the middle ear. Middle ear infections are referred to as otitis media. In extreme cases, the inner ear can be affected. This is known as otitis interna. This type of infection is very serious because it can lead to deafness, systemic infection, and possibly death. Canine ear infections are either bacterial or fungal in nature. Treatments for these infections differ. The signs of a bacterial infection often include discharge, redness, swelling, and lots of pain. Bacterial infections are a result of the dog's immune system, not being able to fight off a large population of bacteria in the ears. Regular cleaning is very important in warding off and controlling bacterial infections, which are usually treated with antibiotic drops. Fungal ear infections, which are triggered by a fungus, are serious because they can spread to other parts of the body. Floppy ear dogs are especially susceptible to this type of ear infection because the fungi thrive in areas that are dark, damp, and moist. Symptoms include a discharge, swelling, redness, scaling, dryness, oozing, and itching. Scratching the ears can spread the infection. Yeast infections, which can spread to other parts of the body, are the most common type of fungal infection. The infection is a result of the excess of yeast. Treatment for yeast infections require cleaning the ears twice a day. In addition, an antifungal ointment or drops will be needed. If you are unsure how to properly clean the dog's ears, ask his or her veterinarian to show you how. Proper cleaning is important as a preventative as well as a treatment for canine ear infections. Ear infections can result in your dog developing a hematoma, which is the accumulation of blood and or fluids between the cartilage and the skin of the ear flap. The treatment for an ear hematoma involves draining the buildup of fluids with a needle and syringe. It can be a painful process for the dog and can usually be avoided by prompt treatment of ear infections. If you need more information or coaching in any area of dog and puppy care, from training to advanced tricks to how to care for your dog or puppy, please visit us at perfectpuppycare.com. You can also join our basic coaching program that will teach you how to train your new puppy or dog in various